we had a week of upsets. Let's start off first with the upset of the week. She talking about, sorry, Miss Natalie, the Patriots went into Pittsburgh and beat the Steelers last Thursday night, 21-18. Now listen, definitely, definitely didn't expect that. Now, I don't think anybody else did either, except for maybe the Patriots now. So, but in a way, they probably hoped that they would win, but I don't think anybody else <laughs> believed that they would, especially not in Pittsburgh. Now, the Patriots are officially out of the playoffs, but as I said, those are the kind of teams that you got to watch because they will set you up and beat you and knock you out. But anyway, they plan to upset people and get a high draft pick. Now, that barely, barely zappy, he threw three touchdowns, and I'm just saying, they ran all over us. I didn't like the fact that we took the ball, uh, we deferred the ball, uh, but I understand that we had no confidence in um, Mitch, although – if we don't have no confidence in Mitch, why are we not using uh, Mason? But anyhow, that's a whole nother story that we're not even going to get into. So, uh, but we got a problem. Uh, uh, I'll get to that later in the other, uh, other part of it. All right, now, the Ravens. The Ravens came back and won in overtime on a punt return for a touchdown uh, by uh, – Oh, I had his name written down. But, uh, yeah, he ran back for the touchdown uh, on the punt return in overtime. And uh, they beat the Rams. Uh, wait a minute. Let me get this right. Let me make sure I got this right. Uh, I got to come back because we got so much to tell you. All right, wait a minute. So let me go back. Let me go back. The Jets made C.J. Stroud look like a rookie for the first time. Let me go back. Let me stay on script. And they beat the Texans 30-6. to Now, C.J., he left the game in the fourth quarter in concussion protocol. Now, the Texans have dropped further uh, into the hunt column in the playoffs. Um, I had some other notes to tell you, and I don't know what I did with them. Uh, but I'm going to keep it moving. All right. So, keeping it moving. Uh, we just said the Ravens came back in overtime for a touchdown against the Rams, 37-31. Now, the Falcons, she said, my Falcons. My Falcons shaking my head, making everyone mad in the stadium. <coughs> Desmond Ritter. <laughs> well, they lost 25 to 29 against the Bucks. That also dropped us uh dropped the Falcons to number 2 in the division and the Bucks are now number 1 in the same division and now have the number 4 playoff seed. Now, she says I had to look this up. Why they took over the division if we have the same record and the same divisional wins? Well, Dirty Birds, it's because the Bucks have a better record against common opponents. There you have it. The Bears. The Bears made the Lions look like Cubs winning 28-13. to Now, the Lions couldn't stop a flea. Because it was 4th and 13, and the Bears went for it, and they got a touchdown. All I'm saying is, that's just, listen. So, that's it. Moving on. This is the recap, ladies and gentlemen. We just want to make sure that before we go any further. Now, the Bengals upset those Colts, who we have this week, but that's another story. Now, Browning, that's all I'm going to say. Browning, Browning, Browning. I'll tell you more about him later. Now, Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence. Now, they decided to play him with that high ankle sprain, which he said was all right, but they lost to the Browns 31-27. And they took Flacco off the couch, who had just finished interviewing for an analyst position. But anyhow, now they're going to make him the starter for the rest of the year. The Saints was 28 uh, over those Panthers, Vikings, Raiders. 
The game was the lowest scoring game this season. Final score was 3-0. to zero. Now, the game stayed scoreless until the Vikings kicker Greg Joseph kicked the field goal with one minute and 57 seconds left in the game. This was the only score of the game. Vikings 3-0, to zero, victors. Now, the 49ers beat the Seahawks 28-16, to 16, and Kyle Shanahan told the team to get under the Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf skin. That's what he said. Do it, and it worked. He said he'd get them a nice Christmas present. It worked because he got ejected from the game. Now, the Bills beat those Chiefs 20-17. The Chiefs got 33 drop passes so far, and that leads the uh, the NFL. Now, Patrick, we'll talk about Patrick in a minute. The Broncos, the Broncos over the Chargers. That would listen, 20 to seven. Now, the Cowboys beat the Sox off the Eagles, 33 to 13, and they've had 30 points in the last eight games. And to close out the upset weekend, the Titans, yes, the Tennessee Titans beat the Dolphins 28-27. to Now, the Dolphins still have the number two seed in the playoffs. However, the win would have allowed them to jump to number one. Now, let me say this about the Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, he got hurt on a horse collar that they did not call. However, he called his wife at halftime. Talking about he was done. Hussey, said, said, get back in there. Get back in that game. He came at the podium talking about he decided to go back in the game. Then he had to clean it up and tell the truth and say he talked to his wife and she said, get back in the game. Anyhow, and to close out the recap, the Giants did beat those Packers 24-17. to 17. 